Hey, hamsters, did you know that keys can be in the form of words you come up with yourself? Any word. And that millions of hamsters have been protecting their crypto with those words. Today, we will be talking about security of your digital assets through crypto wallets. Custodial wallets. Imagine you put all of your peanuts into the storage, sometimes go there to pick them up when you need to or ask to storage to give them to someone. Custodial crypto wallets work this way. Your assets in this type of a wallet are owned by the platform. So if you need to do anything with your crypto, withdrawal or peer-to-peer -peer trading, you need to ask for permission. And you need to follow certain rules that this platform has, like KYC, know your customer chat. Okay, time for a little fun. Guess which of these platforms are a crypto wallet? Kobo Wallet or OpenSea? It's... Kobo Wallet? A very big disadvantage of custodial wallets is that they are stored online and might become victim to a hack. Non-custodial wallets. Non-custodial wallets work in a very different way. You are the one who owns your peanuts. Ooh, I meant crypto. And you don't have to follow anyone's rules. You can do what you will. And they have a certain level of security custodial wallets don't. Guess which wallet is non-custodial? Free wallet or ledger? It's... Ledger! To access your peanuts, you'll need a wallet's key. It's not an actual key, there is a password. They can be private, an alphanumeric line, or seed 12, 24 words that you choose. It's important to write down your seed phrases somewhere offline and keep it away from everybody else. Non-custodial wallets are considered more secure. Hope now you understand this topic better and will protect your peanuts in the best way you can. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and remember, hamsters are power. One for all and all for one. See you tomorrow.